Hey guys, and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I started to program and why I started at such a young age. For so, for those of you that don't know, I started programming when I was 12 years old, and I'm now 18. So I've been programming and a self-taught programmer for about six years, uh, and I'm going to talk about how I started, why I started, and why I continually keep learning programming today. And now All right, so before I jump too far into the content, I wanna just quickly say that I am trying to kind of stick to a new upload schedule for Tech With Tim, and I'm trying to do a video like this each week where I kind of sit down, talk to you guys a bit about myself, some of my experiences, maybe some tips and stuff along those lines. So if you have any videos for, or sorry, any ideas for videos like this, please make sure you leave a comment down below. But the rest of the upload schedule, I'm gonna be posting one programming problem per week. I really recommend if you guys are trying to learn to program or enhance your skills that you watch those videos because they're super valuable and I go through some pretty difficult problems and if you can solve them not only is it rewarding for yourself but it does really improve your kind of ability and thinking skills that's why I do them personally for myself now for the next five days we're gonna be posting whatever is the kind of current series I'm on or just some kind of mini series like I just did with that Sudoku video which is just a two video series on like backtracking with Sudoku so anyways, that's what I'm trying to stick to. Quickly before we keep going, if you guys want to chat with me outside of this, please join my Discord server or contact me on Twitter. I'm always receiving messages from you guys, and I love kind of engaging with you and answering your questions and comments. So anyways, let's get on with the video. Now, I've always been one of those kids who's been super fascinated by how things work. You probably know some people that just kind of accept the fact that something works, but me personally, um, I will always be the person to question it, not in like a conspiracy theory way, but just in a like, how does it actually work? Like curious. I'm always trying to learn and I always want to know why something works so I can appreciate it on a deeper level. Now, that's what I exactly what I did when I was younger as well. I've always been like that. So you can ask anyone who's been friends with me or my parents, especially when I was like 10 or 11 years old, constantly just asking questions and trying to learn. And as soon as I really got exposed to kind of computers and technology, whether that be like my iPhone or just my own laptop or anything like that, I'd always been extremely curious on how these things worked to me, like holding an iPod, uh, sorry, not an iPhone when I was younger, an iPod and seeing like I can swipe back and forth. I can click apps all for me like that was really cool that's just something that's really interesting and I wanted to take it to a new level and understand why it worked so when I was younger probably like 11 ish I in my free time which there was a lot of I'm only 11 I have no like responsibilities really was just looking up stuff like that just like how does it work like how does a computer work how does a processor work what is coding like all this kind of stuff and just getting kind of a understanding of a lot of the things that happen around us now as I kind of looked up that stuff, I eventually moved into randomly uh, jailbreaking iPods. Now this was probably, yeah, like grade five or six, like whenever the iPod touch was like the new cool thing. Uh, and I would jailbreak my and my friend's iPods and we would get like new high scores on apps. We get free stuff. We download paid apps for free and it was just really cool. And I would constantly run into the fact that I had to like edit code or modify like very slight lines of code and I had no idea what that code meant or what I was doing. I was just like following a video. So that kind of exposed me to the fact that like, hey, there's like thousands of lines of code underneath all of this stuff that I'm seeing on my screen. And I was really interested on how this worked and why it worked. And eventually it became like, oh, it's pretty convenient if I could like understand what this means and then I could like do way cooler things with the jailbreaking stuff I was doing. So that's eventually what I ended up doing was trying to learn how this stuff worked and by the time that i was really getting into it jailbreaking was kind of it was kind of over by now everyone already either had a jailbroken ipod or just no one wanted to do it anymore so i started writing like vbs scripts now those are essentially they're like visual basic scripts and this is again yeah like when i'm like 12 and i download them on a usb and stick them into like the school computers and there wasn't very much security back then on the school computers or like i knew how to get around it so i could pretty well put pranks on these computers so someone would like when they would log in it would like boot up the script and say like hello and like just scare the crap out of them like that's what i did nothing harmful just like funny stuff on the computers so after doing kind of stuff like that i realized that programming was really cool and i barely even touched the surface i was like doing print statements right that's it i didn't even know what an if statement was so i looked up one day how to learn to program and then here comes the new Boston, who, by the way, has an amazing channel. If you're just starting out learning how to program, I don't think he's on. I don't think he's active on that anymore, but it's still there. 
videos that I watched still exist that were posted nine, 10 years ago. But anyways, so I learned HTML and I just thought that was like programming. I didn't know what the different types of languages were. I didn't know this was more of a markup language, whatever, right? So I started learning HTML and I really enjoyed like creating stuff and being able to see like what I typed showing up on the screen and doing something and just working. And then that led me into CSS and JavaScript and PHP. Now, as soon as I hit JavaScript, I knew immediately that the last thing I want to do with the rest of my life was program in HTML. This is just really not fun. I don't enjoy doing the, the design aspect of anything. I'm not very creative or artistic. I don't know if I mentioned this yet. And I really hated having to design stuff. I just like making things work. I like the function. Like when you clicked a button, it would link to my JavaScript code and it would do this and this. And I loved that kind of stuff. So I started looking into things that were more like JavaScript that I could just use that kind of more back end ish coding to do cooler things. So eventually I don't really know how, but I ended up learning C sharp. Now I believe this was off a recommendation from one of my dad's colleagues who's in the tech field. He's like a programmer or something like that. And he said, Oh, C sharp's a great language to learn first. Don't know if I would recommend C sharp to a beginner anymore. But anyways, I learned that and did that for probably about two years. So to give you a time frame now, I'm probably like 14 or 15 years old, like maybe in my first year of high school, like maybe grade nine now. Uh, and I'm like getting pretty decent at C sharp. I'm doing programming problems online. Uh, I'm watching videos like all I'm doing and all I've been doing for the past like, three years. is just in my spare time, just learning programming, like at least like three or four times a week. Like I'm going home and I'm watching videos and I'm learning how to program and I'm absolutely loving it. And I still do love it. And the reason I loved it so much was because for me, school and like my work, which was school then, right, was so not challenging and uninteresting that for me getting a challenge and learning something that I didn't already know, or that was actually difficult, which was programming for me, which is so awesome. And I could see, like, I'd try to do something and I would fail. And then rather than like getting upset about it, I'd be like, all right, looks like we got to sit here for another two hours and figure it out. And that's always been how I've been like, and what, and that's why I love learning to program now and teaching stuff to you guys as well, because I love being challenged. And as soon as I don't know something, it's just, all right, time to start learning it, right? It's not, I give up. It's like, if I don't know it, I'm like, all right, I got to learn it. And that's just the way that I've always been. And that's why I really love programming. And that's why it's really a massive mission for me, especially to young people, like under the age of 18, to expose them to programming. Because I know there's so many people out there like me, they're living like a similar childhood, or even just like me right now at 18, that have never been exposed to something as cool as programming. And by exposing them to it, then they're opening up a whole new world of possibilities and just something that they can find passion and really enjoy doing. That's also why I teach it at a summer camp to kids that are aged like 11 to 15, because none of some of these kids, like they will never be taught or even see this if someone like me doesn't teach it to them. You know what I mean? Their parents are older, maybe style, and they don't, they're not going to introduce them to programming. So unless they somehow search it up online when they're young, they're missing out on a massive opportunity. That being said, obviously it's not for everyone, but I really enjoy getting it out and seeing the people, especially the comments on my channel. They're like, Hey man, I'm 15. I really enjoy your videos. Like you're an inspiration. Like that really just makes me feel amazing. And that's why I continue every day with this channel. So anyways, that's kind of been it for this content. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other ideas for videos like this, please make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'm always responding and listening to comments and that would really be appreciated. Oh, 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 oh,